Hello friends, neighbors, John your neighbor here. Welcome down the nook. Welcome to Sunday. We're going to shoot some bourbon samples. I have been shooting a little bit more bourbon the last couple of days, so I thought I'll stay there. I've got some samples uh, from the Dark Cloud. This is Law's Origin, the Intention release. Then I've got Woody Creek Cast Strength and Boulder Bourbon Cast Strength. Turns out each of these are from Colorado. So I've got Laws, which has some interesting age combination, then Woody Creek, and then Boulder. So if you've got any, uh, I think the lightest up here is 59%. So if you've got any barrel strength or cast strength bourbon or anything from these three, why don't you pour a dram? Come on back. Three, four. Well, as I said in the opener, these samples are from uh, Sean Dark Cloud. You're a gentleman sharing this whiskey with me. I thought I would start with this Laws. I wasn't sure where to start. Uh, I thought I might end with it because it's got maybe the most complicated combination, but it's at 59 and I end, I think it's 66.9. And I usually go either in order of strength or if there's a peat in something in the mix, I'll end with peat just because of what it does to my palate. So I'm gonna start with this Laws. This is Laws Origin Series. This one's Intention. I believe there it's a four grain mash bill. So it's 60% uh, corn, 20% wheat, 10% barley and 10% rye. Uh, and it's a combination of ages. We've got three year, five, six year and 10 year um, bourbons that have been blended into here. So it's all new oak, it's all bourbon. Uh, and it's a four grain mash bill. Let's give it a try. Oh, that's a nice nose. It's it's inviting. It's it's almost thick and chewy. We've got you know some toffees, some caramels. For spicing, I think it's pretty light. A little bit of cinnamon sprinkled in that mix, uh, so it feels a bit like a, a baking apple toffee uh, start to where we're going. Let's give it a sip. Cheers. There's a good range of flavors in there. Mmm. Start it up just like the nose kind of sweet kind of toffee but then it went into like a real baking clove spice palette like just really opened up across some different oaking some different wood a little bit of tannins in there but another quick sip i would even go so far as to say there's some you know well baked apple or old you know on that edge of of leathered fruit or or even even that essence of leather that kind of cooked older mm. this uh nose um didn't tell me we we're going to go there i thought we were going to be kind of light and toffee and sweet and different sugars and there are those sugars in there but the palate for me has really taken me down a dark path in a good way uh spicier like i said heavier ones like like clove uh, baked hams that kind of savory salty and then even ending in a bit of, of leather, tobacco um, neighborhood. So, mm, yeah, tobacco. Nice journey. So we'll head over to Woody Creek. Woody Creek is another Colorado distillery. Uh, this one's six years old. Uh, different mash bill, so only got the three grains, and I believe it's higher corn, 70 corn, and 15 barley and 15 rye. Um, beyond that, you know, it's right in the middle, six. This had three, Five, six, and ten. This one has just six. Let's see what this uh, uh, Woody Creek cast strength. Oh, 59, 59.5% on the nose. I'm getting more cherry, uh, brighter fruits, a uh, little bit of nut in there. Yeah, a little bit of walnut which which can go either way be really good toasted roasted or it can get a little bitter but a little bit of walnut in there um light sugars right now i bet the palate will help me but right now not a lot of spice in the nose it's a little little lighter and cleaner than the uh the laws started out let's give it a taste cheers well that's got some nice 
butter corn sweetness. Um, I, I didn't get that right really with the laws. This took me in a in a, a savory place more broader spices. This is um, more buttered corn, um, some toffee, uh, lighter, sweeter oaks. Yeah, definitely sweeter oaks. That nut that I said was going to go walnut. If it's still there, it's more into uh, like a sweet or milky or not like an almond. Um, yeah, much. Uh, oh, nice coating. Nice coating too, now that I'm just talking but longer. Uh, not as dark on the back end, not as, as leather tobacco, more more uh, uh, sweet and corn butters, sweet corn notes. Um, yeah, I would say so far just between these two, more typical bourbon. A little spicier too in terms of like peppery. So I thought I'd anchor with uh, the boulder. It's five years, so it's the youngest. <laughs> this one had some three year in it, but you know, we had a six year Woody Creek, this five year, uh, but it has a very different mash bill. Uh, plus it's 66.9%. So it, it's going to be a little heavy on the palate, but it has like 44% malted barley. And then uh, um, like a lower corn, what is the corn? 51% corn and only 5% rye. So the least rye up here, significantly more barley. We'll see what that does in a big uh, cast strength release. This is the Boulder cast strength bourbon. You know, it's a rounder, smoother nose. And, and even though I know I said cherry on this, this one now is, is thinking like a dark cherry. Yeah, and this is all kinds of uh, toasted, um, buttered corn toffee, more than fruit, coming all the way back to the laws. Oh, I got some roasted hazelnut and a little bit of chocolate on that. This nose has evolved even in just a few moments that we've been together. Coming back to the boulder, this now for me is a more typical red cherry. Well, is it because I know there's so much barley? I was gonna say a little bit of roasted grains in there, like a, like a, I know I've talked about nuts in here, but here I would say like a, a husk, yeah. Yeah, definitely. All right, let's try it on the palate. Cheers. It's also good in the mouth. All of these have good mouthfeel. I think they're all natural color, non-chill filter. Um, oh, that has a very unique uh, early finish. It's surprisingly drinkable for 66.9%. Uh, it gives me um, some cream of wheat. I know this one has wheat. There's no wheat in here. Um, but what I'm trying to get at is, is, uh, a little bit of breakfast cereal and, and here I would go, um, uh, roasted nuts and, um, also uh, this one gave chocolate on the nose. This one now is giving me chocolate in the finish or espresso or oh, a little graham cracker. Got to give another sip. Remarkably different than these up here. Uh, each one of these um, is fantastic. Uh, just thoughts, just poured them. I have had some Boulder and I have had some Woody Creek before. I haven't had anything from Laws. Um, this to me is the most complicated dram up here. Uh, perhaps it's the four grain, perhaps it's the variety of ages and the cast they chose, but it's got more layers coming around now in the nose. And, uh, and when I was trying to work through the palette, it also had the broadest spice palette and the most um, contrast going on. The Woody Creek is the most typical of bourbon expressions up here. Um, I'm going to accentuate. It's not so much, but, you know, a little more toffee buttered corn, uh, which I, I like in bourbon and even sweeter, lighter oaks, like new oaks. Uh, whether it's toasted, I don't, I don't know, but I'm, I'm getting a little more just that fresh oak. And then the boulder is different from bourbon with that huge amount of uh, malted barley in there, giving it um, a different quality in the mouthfeel. And even in this context, you know, the oaks are telling me it's bourbon, but the, the nutty kind of breakfast cereal malt sugars is telling me like it's, it's getting closer to, uh, you know, a, a malted, like a single malt, but you know, like a malted uh, um, whiskey. Definitely has some malt sugars. I think that's what I'm going for, some malt sugars in there for its sweetness. These are fantastic samples, and I would happily 
purchase and enjoy any one of these. I actually went looking for the Laws and I think it's sold out. And that was sad because uh, I hadn't tried it yet, but I'd heard really good things. And now that I've tried it, I'm even more sad. I've had several bottles of Boulder and I will again. I enjoy them, the Woody Creek. I'm also looking forward to buying uh, some of their expressions. These are good bourbons, glad they're here. I think uh, the Colorado Rocky Mountain Air, a little bit like Alberta where I am, I think makes some pretty good whiskey. Thanks for joining me. I might be in touch lots or might be out of touch. I'll tell you more uh, in future videos, but I have a very cool opportunity to do uh, maybe some work with Sons of Vancouver. More to come. Thanks for joining me. Have a great week.